I am Anil Kumar and here is a bonus question on derivatives of functions. The question here is, the position s in meters of an object moving in a straight line is given by s equals to t times 6 minus 3t to the power of 4, where t is greater than or equal to 0, where t is time in seconds. Determine the time when the object is stationary. So we are given the displacement function s of t basically, which is t times 6 minus 3t to the power of 4, and t will be greater than or equal to 0. Stationary object means zero velocity, right? So let's first find rate of change of displacement. So rate of change of displacement is velocity. Here we can apply the product rule. Derivative of t is 1, so we get 6 minus 3t to the power of 4, 1 times this, plus t times derivative of this function. So 4 times, we'll apply the power rule for the functions. 6 minus 3t cube times derivative of inside function, which is minus 3. Perfect. Now, uh, let's rewrite this. 6 minus 3t to the power of 4 minus 4 times 3 is 12t, 6 minus 3t whole cube. You can take 6 minus 3t whole cube common. That gives you 6 minus 3t. And here you get minus 12t. Perfect. And what are we getting on this side? Derivative is velocity, right? So we are getting velocity. And for stationary velocity, this has to be 0. Remember that. So we could write this as 6 minus 3t whole cube. And here we get 6 minus 15t. Minus 3 and minus 12 is 15t. Now for this to be stationary, this velocity should be 0. This is for stationary object, right? So we want stationary object. not moving that means not moving so velocity is zero now these two factors could be zero for so first one six minus three t equals to zero means that t is equals to six divided by three or two so that is one value the other one to be zero is six minus fifteen t equals to zero means 15t equals to 6. So now it can be solved. t equals to 6 over 15, right? So these are the two times. Time is given in seconds. So the answer is t equals to 2 seconds or t equals to 6 over 15 seconds for the object to be stationary, right? So with this, we come to an end of this set of questions which will help you prepare for quiz on derivatives. Take it as a mid-chapter review. Since we have only learned half of the things, we know the derivatives of power rule and uh, the product rule. And these are good examples to practice for your test. All the best. Feel free to share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.